Christmas It's the best time of the year Now I don't know if there'll be snow But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas Well, good day. We'll just get ready to head out. Let's go uh, do some Christmas shopping. Just got a few more gifts to get for Asa. Um, not going all out because he really has no lack. I'm pretty thankful for that because I wanted to get to the point where like all the things that we actually desire, you know what I mean? Like that we have all those things. Um, and we do, we we actually have an abundance of those things. We have an abundance of those things, in fact. Um, but a few more things. And then gotta pick up some items to I gotta pick up some items to restock. <clears throat> restock the condiments. We got a couple of condiments that we're out of. Um, the nails are still nailing. I did accidentally pop one of these off when I was cleaning earlier today. Girl, I mean, my coffee exploded in the thing, but See, I just put it back on. You can kind of tell, you know, but you're not gonna be up in my face like that. Let me get it to focus. So you can kind of tell. You can see the ridge a little bit. It's not that bad. It's not bad at all. So, um, if you didn't know, I'm a vampire. So now you know, um, my eyes are very, sensitive to light and the irony is that I see much better in the dark like cat <laughs> like a tiger like a tigress did you did you follow that did you follow the train of thought okay so um I gotta go buy the natural supplements shop I need some oregano oil I'm going to start adding that um, to my teeth. I ain't doing too much of nothing. Just got on black leggings. This Nike pullover. I love it. I love how it fits. I don't know what the style is called, but love it. Love it. So posh. Um, this is like a little faux sleeve because it's not completely double lined, which is great for me because I get hot. Um, and then just a tank from Old Navy. And my fanny pack from Tyson. Uh, my kicks, I'll show you later. They're from Shoe Trends. Um, they've become very popular. I know it's a popular dude, but I'm not sure for what. Feel free to let me know in the comments. To be honest with you, I don't care, because I got them for the Lola and the heat. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, let me get my Coke, because I'm tripping. Make sure I go ahead and show you. I'm gonna keep these clips short today. Um, I just remember how the cold hit me before, and I want to be not sick. Now, 
Thomas. Like so, like this. got all this area the sidewalk I've not been showing you um, so I live right there that's the building right there and I really love it in Noda me and my me and Asa love it here and I hadn't shown you but they were doing construction all through here um, and we just catch the light rail like it's not even a five minute walk and I love this so much um, it comes in clutch with um, the fact that, of course, you know, it's just the convenience of not having to worry about gas. Um, and this this guy, this is, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put this on blast. This is what I'm talking about. The law should be such that someone first has to get a permit before they can actually advertise that a place is for rent, a dwelling is for rent, until they have actually complied to ensure that it is fit premises. They should not even be allowed. It should be a full ass permit before they put out a for rent sign. Because this, you can look at it and you can tell that it is not in order at all. And that's a problem. That's a big problem. But basically, before I got sidetracked, so they built this out. This is a bike trail. I just absolutely love this area. I absolutely love it. I want to buy a house in this area. This is definitely where I want to live uh, indefinitely. I want Charlotte to definitely be my home base and then travel a lot. And so basically, we don't have any major inconvenient laborious like it, it is such a simple walk that's why i'm taking you on the walk with me right now to get to the light rail so any of you who are considering riding the light rail you know even as supplemental you'll notice that all the cars that are right there i often see the individuals you know in you know our regular course of the day passing by um i see people get off the light rail and go into the you know go get their car because parking downtown is crazy and so you know that if you live in a big city and even though some people feel like charlotte is not a big city it is it is still a thriving metropolis you know a lot of thriving metropolis have problems and charlotte is no different but basically what i'm getting at is that if you've been questioning whether or not you should supplement uh, your transportation with a light rail, do it. It's very, very dependable, um, much more so than the bus line. Um, I despise having to get on the cat's buses generally. Um, it, it doesn't always go well. There's only two bus routes that I feel are dependable. That would be, well, I, I think it's three. I just can't think of the number right now because I no longer live in Steel Creek. But there was one bus and it goes, oh, let me hurry up because I think I hear the light rail now. Um, but it may not be going in the direction I need. Yeah, that's the wrong. It's going a different direction. I'm going the other way. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? Okay, so what I was getting at is that um, whatever the the route is that is uh, that goes out to premium outlets, that route is pretty dependable, but not really after hours, and do not ever depend on them during the holidays. That's that that can get ugly quick, um, but here on this side of town 
the 54C uh, that goes Concord Mills and North Tryon, like super dependable, um, like early instead of on time. Um, and I think it's the 23 is very dependable and the, oh goodness, it's one more. 23, I think that is the, I think it's 29 or 23. Anyway, the university one is dependable. But again, after five o'clock, don't get on that university bus. Don't, don't do it. Trust me. <laughs> um, I was left pretty much ass out waiting when I had gone to uh, state employees um, trying to wait till she wait till she doing Link's fair inspectors will check for passes once you are on the train please have your pass ready okay so when I went out to in my last vlog like a week and a half ago or so when I went to state employees and then went to get um, incense from Infinity's Inn and went to get my Moe's birthday reward. The elevator at the south end at 385 is currently out of service. Please use the north elevator or contact 704-336-7433 for further assistance. I don't use that elevator, so it's, it's pointless. Muchas gracias, señorita. Um, anyway, y'all, I'm tripping. She gonna keep talking. But basically... Rugosas <laughs> blancas. The white lines. The white dotted lines. Anyway, so... Um, I got pretty much stranded. I was waiting on the five. I was waiting on the one that was like 505 or something like that. And then I thought maybe I missed that one because it was early. And so I stayed posted up or actually I went into Harris Teeter and got a couple of things and then came back out for the 540 years because they supposed to run, you know, every half hour. And that bus never showed up. So, uh, and we know that the lights go down. <laughs> the lights go down. Sunset is around five-ish. And uh, so it was like dark, dark. And basically, I had to um, use other transportation, um, which, you know, doesn't work out too well if you, if money is funny, that could have been, you know, like a bad situation. But anyway, just keep that in mind if you are a charlatan and watching my vlogs. Um, generally, for the most part, every vlog that you've seen um, here lately, I'm either in a rental because I often rent through Hertz. I rent their Teslas um, or uh, in OG's car when she visits or on the light rail. So if you're considering supplementing your transportation, definitely do so with the light rail, which means you need to, of course, live in an area that is off the light rail if you will so that's my two cents which is worth much more <laughs> i'm going to now wait they should be here in like two seconds Only and uh are first stop or aboard links trains. Uh, oh first stop buffalo wild wings get my redeem my gift let's go on in and get this real quick NFL News. In order to make it here on time, because they close at four, I had to take an Uber. So let's go inside. I need to get your herbal supplements from here, for sure. <sighs> I know exactly what I want. Please have it. Let's 
on the other side. We've got all those. Please have it. Yes. Sweet oregano. No, it actually looks like they're out. So let me look and see if I find another one. Bergamot clove. Lavender, lemongrass. There we go, oregano. Gee, willikers. Scientific aromatherapy. Certified organic. Ooh, ooh, sorry, I had it out of focus. Greek oregano. Feel free to screenshot it. Okay. Um, this one can uh, is for aromatherapeutic purposes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go with this. I've used this very often. And this is for ingesting, which is great. Um, and they have the capsules. But I'm going to get get the drops because I need it with me. I'm going to not buy this. I'm going to kind of piecemeal it until I get um, paid again. But definitely, this is a come up. Okay, so I need some magnesium. But I need liquid. All right. And this is all in budget. Okay. Great. Oh, successful trip. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is what I need. All right. So I am here. I'm going to start in the Christmas section first. Do it, let's do it. Looking in the right area. <laughs> Excuse me. Get some of these. Sure. More gummies. Lisa. I guess it's a little cut. Yeah, sweet edible candy cut. It's hilarious. Okay, so we'll find that cute. So I'm not showing you everything because I am definitely getting things to uh, stock the stuff things. Just know I got all the things. The things have been thonged at the Dollar Tree this way the dollar tree <laughs> i had to come in here uh, i'm thinking about getting um some vodka to make some martinis or some whiskey wait this is that's tequila vodka yeah vodka and i don't know how much i can film in here but you know, just getting getting footage. All right, we'll see what we get. I'll show you when I get home. I'm having it on the low low. See, that's only two ninety five. Happy holidays! Merry Christmas! Happy holidays! Merry Christmas! <laughs> enough look like it might be enough I'm not going to show you what I got but if it works out I'm going to show you that I've wrapped it no that's not going to be enough um well I guess I'll do it in this pretty gold
doesn't stay. So let's go. I know you can't see me, <laughs> but I just got in. And all the things have been thonged. It's looking super cozy in my home. Loving it. Let me turn on this. <sighs> super duper cozy. I'm gonna turn that on. Okay, let me unpack everything. Let me get a light on over here. <sighs> Thank goodness he ain't made too much a mess of a mess since I've been gone. All to do on tomorrow because your girl is ready to sit down and definitely need a cup of coffee or tea I might make a hot toddy and Christmas movie and then warm up my wings and that's gonna be a night You can definitely tell the difference when they're low. Mm. I gotta figure out a better way to do these next time. That's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now that one and that one. Fresh the batteries on the tree. Some are battery operated. The ones that I added after the fact are battery operated. Are they going to town now? Yeah. 